Hey guys, what is up? Teddy here and welcome to another weekly tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you guys the transitions from body drop to kick up. Alright, I already did a kick up tutorial. I put the link on the screen, make sure you check it out first. So, which means that I won't really go into the kick up tutorial here. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you guys the transitions from body drop to kick up. But for the body drop, I will expand it because I never done the tutorial before. So, without further ado, let's get it on. Now, you might ask, um, or you might curious how body drop looks. So, before I start, I show you guys uh, the body drop, uh, how it looks, alright? So, here we go. Okay, one more time. So that is body drop and the reason why I did the tutorial here is that you want to start learning this move from a soft ground first. Like last week monkey flip, you also want to learn on the soft ground because you're gonna hit your body a lot and there's a few tips that I need to talk about before you try this out, alright, to prevent you from the injury. Now as you can see when I do the body drop, I'm right handed so I'm gonna put my right hand on the ground. So when I did that, the, the, the right hand is there to protect me. So let me explain further. When I did the move, I didn't throw my body right away to the ground, okay? Uh, which means that my right hand is gonna lead me to the ground. So as you can see, I start from jumping up. When my right hand is on the ground, I'm gonna slowly bend my body, or bend my right hand, I'm sorry, to the ground and then to the shoulder, okay? Keep that in mind, that's what you have to do. You shouldn't just throw your body immediately, I am guarantee you hurt yourself. Again, if you're right-handed like me, put your right hand on the ground, down to your right elbow, and then drop to your right shoulder. Another key thing to prevent the injury is to make sure that you jump higher and drop higher. I know it sounds uh, scarier than it, it seems, but it is true. Like if you already learn windmill, you know that when you do windmill, you want to drop at the back here, okay, not here, because you will injure yourself if you drop here. It's very dangerous here, especially this part here, because you know you want to prevent that. This is the same thing. You want to drop as high as possible, but make sure that you didn't hit your head on the ground, okay. Again, so let's try two things to remember jump your hands gonna lead you to the ground and then uh, drop on the ground with uh, as high as you can okay I'm gonna do both ways now I'm gonna do this side first and then I'm gonna do from the middle here you go all right another one First try out, it's kind of scary, but when you already get used to it, it's pretty easy. You just make sure you learn it on something soft like grass or even anywhere that you feel comfortable. Now, for the kick up part, when you're already done with the backdrop, when you're on the ground, now you're gonna put your left hand so you when you after you drop your body your left hand is gonna come in to the kick up positions and push so like I said in the first intro of the video I won't go deep into kick up because I already did the tutorial alright so you check you might want to check it out first okay so now let's try to combine both of these and let's see how it looks here we go again both ways I'm gonna start from this side first and then I'm gonna do the straight one, okay? Here we go. From this position, right hand down. So there you go, the transitions from backdrop to kick up. All right, it doesn't seem that hard. The one thing that you want to uh, the one thing that makes it hard personally I think is the to get rid of the fear itself alright so just do what I say what I told you guys earlier 
and you should be fine. So that's about it. Subscribe to this video, give thumbs up. If you have any questions or any tricks that you want to learn, try to let me know and I will try to deliver it to you guys. So that's it and I'll see you guys next time.